War. War never changes. But sometimes, it gets really weird. <laughs> this is Valkyr. She's a, uh, a bounty hunter of sorts. But when you've worked in the field this long, well, you start to see things. Things are whatever the heck Valkyr is, but never meant to see. Things, things you just can't get out of your mind. Things that just don't make any darn sense. War. War never changes. Sometimes it gets weird. Like a headless teammate phantasm kind of weird. And anybody else seeing this? Valkyr. How are you doing, bud? Uh, bud. Is, is bud, like, androgynous? Can you call your girl compatriots bud? Budette? That just sounds weird. War got strange. Valkyr, you, uh, buddy, you, uh, might want to go get evaluated. See what your doctor has to say about this. You know the one. The one that convinced your teachers to pass you through elementary school because they needed the students to survive. That one. Ja, und welcome back to my office, Valkia. Nine solutions say nothing. But perhaps it's time for you to take vacation, no? And so our hero, Valky, decided to take a vacation to Aladvi's Labra... Puppy Ranch. Aladvi's definitely not mutated abomination, Puppy Ranch. Well, Valky, looks like you're enjoying playing with the puppies. Hopefully this is good for your, uh, mental health. I, I mean, for your development as a strong and individual Warframe. Yeah. Don't give her my address. Welcome back to our weekly show, The Joy of Fishing. Today we have a special guest. Uh, her name is... Well, actually, she never really told us our name. She just started screaming and hitting things with a very large hammer. So we decided to let her do whatever she wants. And she's fishing with a spear, which of course, viewers, is not something that's legal in our beautiful state. But, uh, once again, the fishing game wardens just seem to let her do as she pleases. So, <laughs> welcome to the show. You know, sometimes, when life gets you down, when things just get crazy, and say maybe you drop from space down onto the planet, covered in mutated infested puppy leavings, well... Maybe it's just time to relax, throw some luminous radioactive dye into the water, and catch fish that you will then feed to the clueless natives who definitely won't get radioactive poisoning. Yeah, so fishing, a beautiful pastime here on the planet of Earth. A nice break from the hectic pace of everyday Tenno life. Catch weird looking fish that you assign arbitrary names to and then just kinda dump all that fresh fish in town see what happens maybe you'll even build fuel for your archwing because whatever powers your other amazing weapons apparently just isn't quite green enough for the plains of Eidolon enjoy this lovely clip sit back relax and slow your pace a bit Maybe bullet jump into the water and forget how to swim. Who am I to say? <laughs> well, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Toshio. I have played Warframe quite a bit in the past, and I was just getting back into it. And I have this massive backlog of video, so here I am finally making another Warframe video. I don't know if you guys can hear Tank Baby in the background, but there was a huge update to War Thunder bringing an open world element to the game, which it seems like every major release is getting some kind of open world built into it or tacked on to it, and that makes me kind of cynical when it comes to 
open world features of the game, and in fact, it took me quite some time to get around to exploring Cetus. No, it's not because I didn't know how to get there. I mean, I, I did have to look it up on the wiki, but that's beside the point. <laughs> and another fun fact, if... Well, let's put it this way. There's so many things going on in War Thunder... Er, War? Frame? Warframe? Did I say War Thunder? It's Warframe. <laughs> There's so many things going on in Warframe that it's like, even for an experienced player, every time you turn around, there's some piece of information you need to find out, like how do you kill a Kuva Siphon, or is this gun worth getting? All of these things can be looked up on the Warframe Wiki, so I highly recommend utilizing that tool. Not only does it prevent you looking like a noob to everyone, even if you are, but it also is fairly consistent and more reliable than just asking in general chat about how to do things. So, speaking of being completely clueless, this is an early foray into fishing and I don't really know what to do, but apparently you throw these glowy things in the water and fish show up, you stab them with a stick and pull them in. So, that's what we're doing. In fact, at this point, I didn't even know what to do with the fish, but I knew I needed fish oil, so I figured, hey, fish oil probably comes from fish. See? Ah, it's not just a hat rack. But, <laughs> um, you have to, like, wait for the fish to come back, and how rude. I'm being attacked by ghouls. Well, that's, that's just hardly fair at all. All I brought was my fishing stick and my massively overpowered weapons. Hey, ghouls. Leave me alone if you know it's good for you. <laughs> anyway, you throw a die into the water, you throw bait into the water, you get attacked by ghouls, you shoot them with an arrow, you know, fun things like that. And uh, here on the plains of Cetus, there's many things to do, or I should say the plains of Eidolon, outside of Cetus, on Earth. Um, there's many things to do. You can catch fish and take them to the fishmonger in town and she'll cut them and get them for you and and give you loot from their bodies. Or alternatively, you could just hand her the fish and go, you're welcome. <laughs> and you can trade them in for favor with the people of Cetus, but Really, you're going to be running so many bounties if you if you hang out around Cetus because the rewards are good that you don't really need to trade your fish for standing. Go ahead and get some loot for them. At least that's my advice. There's other things to do on the plains of Cetus. You could just hang out and pick up the random missions that drop into your lap. Sh plains of Eidolon. Plains of Eidolon. You can pick up the random missions to drop into your lap. You can just run around uh, making life difficult for the Grenier, who, if you're not in the know, are basically like space Soviets from the planet Blurg. And uh, again, they're just they're so persistent. Can't can't a Warframe just fish in peace? <laughs> you see, they're trying so hard to damage me, but. At this point, I was actually feeding Tank Baby, so I was AFK, but uh, my pet Blue Belly uh, took them down most mercilessly. And while I'm feeding the baby and changing a diaper, and swaddling and bottling, well, the good durability of my Warframe and my faithful companion Blueberry protected me from those low level enemy mobs. <laughs> so that's the fishing experience. Here in Warframe, you start out fishing, you end up fighting ghouls. So, if that's your kind of thing, maybe check out Warframe. There's so much more to this game, as you saw in the intro. But, uh, even more, there's little things like this that keep being added to the game. And I'm looking forward to where the developers take the game in the future. Uh, I laid off playing this game for a few years and so much has been added it's just it's just incredible 
So this, like my very favorite game, War Thunder, is one of those games that continues to be expanded and developed by the game creators, and it's also self-published, which means that you won't be running into just the, the sabotage that publishers like EA and, uh, and what's that other one? Oh geez, I can't remember what they're called right now. But they just, they take good games and they take good studios and they just destroy them. Uh, <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that with Warframe. There's a very clear and open monetization of the game. It's in a free-to-play format, so you can jump right in and get into whatever you want without paying a dime. And if you want to speed things up, you pay money. But you really don't have to. And I've made probably in the area of a thousand platinum in this game, which is the in-game currency, without paying a single cent just by trading things to people that want them and going, hey, give me 20 plat for that. Give me 60 plat for that. And uh, I've unlocked all kinds of things that help me out without spending a dime. For comparison, if I wanted to actually buy that much platinum for real world money, well, that'd be several hundred dollars. So <laughs> I guess it kind of pays off. Hi, Guppy! Are you saying hi to the people? You want to say hi? Yeah. You like that? Did you tear the top off of your wife? Are there wipes? No, no. Hey, you you decapitated the decapitated the wipes box, but you haven't torn all the wipes out yet. And hi, people. I'm big on smile. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> hi, people. Hi. How do you feel about fishing in War Thunder? No, Warframe. War Thunder fishing would be pretty cool. Could you imagine a Ju-87 with a harpoon gun? All right, or maybe a dragnet on a B-25. Wouldn't that be awesome? Hey, hey, um, hey, Gaijin. New game mode: airplane fishing. How cool! It's just like seriously for a lol thing. Just have like medium and light bombers. Yeah, dragging nets, and then. I don't know, maybe people flying air cover. Or after they drag the net, they have to take it back to base and other fighters can like attack the net. <laughs> Just a thought. Super silly game mode, but yeah. War Thunder Fishing. Anyway, this has been Toshio. This has been me AFK for half of the video and also showing what it's like to fish in Warframe. Fun game. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.